Hello, and welcome to another behind the scenes video from Tales from the World's Firesides and from me, Clive Gilson. As some of you may already know, I've been collecting and telling stories for a couple of decades now, and uh, I've had a few uh, pieces of my own work published over recent years. In these weekly behind the scenes short videos, I like to delve into the craft of writing and to offer up one or two uh, of the lessons that I've learned, usually the hard way, um, over the years, uh, as an aid to anyone engaged on their own creative journey. Today, I want to delve into the topic of outlining versus pantsing. Uh, so let's get into some detail about exactly what those things are. So, writing, like any creative endeavour, comes with its own set of methods and, and approaches. A couple of common strategies among writers are outlining and pantsing. But as I said earlier in the little short intro, what exactly do those terms mean and how do they influence the, the writing process? So, so let's dive in. So what is outlining? So outlining, as the name suggests, uh, involves creating a detailed plan or structure before diving into writing. On the other hand, if we think, consider what pantsing is, it's really just a shorthand way of saying writing by the seat of your pants. It involves starting with a, a basic idea or concept and just allowing the story to unfold organically as you write. Now, you'll know from previous uh, sessions that I've, I've run on, on these sorts of videos that I'm very much committed to things like storyboarding. So I am an outliner in, in that, uh, that sense rather than someone who writes by the seat of their pants. I have tried to work on that way on a couple of different projects. Uh, they haven't always been terribly successful. I find that having some structure works for me, but that is not necessarily true for anybody else. The truth is, each approach has its own unique benefits and challenges that can significantly impact the writing process and, and your final product. So let's look a little more detail uh, at outlining. One of the primary benefits of outlining is clarity. Certainly for me, that's true. By establishing a roadmap for our stories, we can maintain a clear sense of direction and purpose throughout the writing process. Outlining helps writers to stay organised. Uh, it allows us to develop characters, plot points and themes in a structured manner. Additionally, I find that outlining can save me time in the long run because it reduces the need for extensive revisions. I've already done some of that work in the structural um, process of creating the outline. And I think that we as writers can use techniques like outlining to identify plot holes early in the process, or, or inconsistencies even, uh, and we can address those before they become significant issues requiring a major rewrite. However, of course, outlining is not without its challenges. Some writers find the process too restrictive uh, or stifling. It uh, in creating that structure, in creating that, that map of the story, we're actually constraining the, uh, the ability of the writer to be creative. There is also the risk, of course, of over-planning. Um, that's where writers do become so focused on um, the outline or on the, the, the plotting that they're doing uh, that they lose sight of the creative spontaneity that often fuels you know, engaging storytelling. So there is definitely a balance. And again, that is something that I, I have learned in one or two cases in the past. I have overthought what I'm doing, and although I felt I was putting together really detailed backstories and histories, what I was actually doing was distracting myself from doing the actual storytelling. So what about the benefits of pantsing, or writing by the seat of your pants? One of the great strengths of this approach is that it gives you freedom uh, and flexibility. This approach allows us as writers to explore new ideas and unexpected twists, often leading to, to creative breakthrough. Um, breakthroughs that might not have emerged with a more rigid outline. And what I've tended to find personally is that when I'm writing short stories, then this is much a, be a much better approach. I don't tend to outline and structure the short story uh, s storytelling uh, in the same way that I would on long fiction. And I think that's probably just a natural uh, occurrence, but it, it's certainly true for the work that I do. One of the benefits, I think, of this approach, particularly 
in terms of it being effective for writers is that you know, if you do thrive on spontaneity and you enjoy the thrill of discovery as you write, then obviously uh, you know, writing, as I say, we say, by the seat of your pants is, is much more uh, likely to lead to success. You, you have that creative freedom. It does, of course, come with its own challenges. You know, without a clear plan, it is possible that we might struggle with coherence and consistency in the story. Uh, and that's certainly one of the things that I've learned, particularly on longer fiction, is that at least having some sort of guide to the characters and their, uh, their rationale and their, uh, their motivations and uh, some certain plot notes helps me to make sure that I don't leave holes in the plot. Pantsing can also lead to slightly disjointed narratives uh, if you do uh, have a problem with that coherence and consistency. Uh, and obviously what we don't want to do is leave unresolved plot threads that are sort of glaring. Uh, you know, maybe you leave something open for future work, but nonetheless we do need to make sure that we are cohesive uh, in what we do. One of the things I've also anecdotally heard is that when you do write by the seat of your pants, when you're just letting that creative flow run, um, in one or two cases I've heard of people who actually get stuck, uh, who end up with writer's block. Uh, they get stuck in the middle of a story and they, they're just, for some reason, unsure of where it will go next. So I think that's something that it's, it's worth giving a little thought to, is that if, if you allow complete creative freedom, yes, you might write something uh, that flows brilliantly. You might also find yourself in cul-de-sacs where you actually have to stop and pause and rethink what you're doing. In the end, though, whether you prefer outlining or uh, organic uh, development, you know, pantsing, I think it boils down to personal preference and writing style. You know, some of us might find success, I think, with a combination of both. I certainly feel that way myself. When I think about long fiction, I do like to have some sort of structure, uh, but not too much, just enough. Whereas on short fiction, I think uh, writing more organically is absolutely the right way to go for me. So I think that sort of combination approach probably does provide us with both the sufficient structure and uh, allows us room for the, the essential spontaneity that comes with, uh, with any writing process. So I guess ultimately the key is finding a balance that works for us, that enables us to unleash our creativity uh, whilst we stay focused and organised at uh, enough of a level that, that gives us some security in what we're doing. So I guess whether you're meticulously plotting every detail or flying by the seat of your, your pants, there is, I think it's worth remembering, no one-size-fits-all approach to writing. We need to embrace what works best for us. Um, the key being that we find a way to let our imaginations take flight. Well, that's it for today's short uh, behind-the-scenes hints and tips. I hope you enjoy the, the short explorations. They are sort of little pot boilers and sort of thought provokers. Um, and obviously outlining versus, versus pantsing is, is a, an interesting little uh, topic in its own right. You can find out more about uh, me, about the Tales from the World's Firesides project uh, and about the books uh, that are involved in that project and uh, that I write and uh, all that sort of stuff at clivegilson.com. There's also uh, dedicated Facebook and YouTube channels. Details are in the uh, text at the bottom of this screen. Now, please do hit the like button uh, if you uh, find these uh, little videos useful. It helps with the algorithms and certainly helps with the, uh, the placement on things like YouTube and Facebook. And if you do want to follow uh, or subscribe one of the channels indicated below, uh, please do. You'll have new hints and tips every week. There'll be new stories every week. There'll be book introductions and various different that sort of aspects of content, at least two or three pieces most weeks. That's it for now, though. So until next time, uh, keep reading. Uh, keep writing and uh, stay inspired. Take care. We'll catch up soon.